Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 9th of August. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin condemn any pe- condemns any people. You might say, wow, my nation is a wonderful nation. I live here in France. I have become French uh, over 10 years ago. I was born in Brazil. And I know that the history of my country, the history of France, and maybe, and, of, and for sure, the, the, the history of your country is filled with blood. There's a lot of beautiful things going on, but there's a lot of blood and violence as well. Only righteousness can exalt a nation. And there is only one nation that is filled with God's righteousness, and that is God's nation, the church, God's people. God has got one holy nation. But sin condemns any people. We see in the history of the people of Israel in the Bible that uh, um, they had some times when they were over on the top of the mountain and they were worshipping God and they considered God as their God. And then they had a, a, a time of blessings. And then they went down into the valleys and they worshipped uh, all the other gods of the, country, the land. Then the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord and served the Baals. They forsook the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who had brought them out of Egypt. So they completely forgot about the Almighty God, and they went to serve the gods of the land. And then then they had all the consequences that come from uh, uh, walking in a different way uh, as God's way. We, we were meditating yesterday in our service here in the Basque Coast Baptist Church about God's righteousness and how it is a way of walking, of living, of speaking, of doing things. It's a way of walking like God walks. And every time you don't walk in righteousness, you're walking in the way of sin. Because sin is not to walk in God's righteousness. It's to go completely uh, off the, the way. It's walking in another way. Every time that they uh, went back to God in the, the book of Judges, God answered their prayers. Then the Israelites cried out to the Lord, We have sinned against you, forsaking our God and save, serving other gods. The Lord replied, and, the, and then the God is going to reply. God is going to send the, people, uh, the judges to help them. Because when there is righteousness, a nation will be exalted. But sin will condemn any people. And it it starts with a person, with a couple, with a family, with a town. And then the whole nation will be condemned. Because the wages of sin is always going to be death. In this book of Judges, we find in in chapter 7, 17 verse 6, in those days Israel had no king, everyone did as they saw fit. That is our problem. We do what we see fit. We do whatever pleases us. And we tend to think that sin is pleasing. Sin is a nightmare. Listen to what Paul says in Romans chapter 1 verse 28. Furthermore, just as they did not think uh, it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, so God gave them over to to a depraved mind, so that they do what ought not to be done. There is nothing worse than to be to be given over to deprivation, to remain in deprivation, to remain in sin. Because to remain in sin, it is to remain in death. Second death is a nightmare, the, the, the death that never ends, an eternal separation from light, love, hope, joy from God. So God, may God have mercy on us that we will choose the way of righteousness. God bless you.